In February 1951, the Ohio State University, known at the time as the Graveyard of Coaches, hired a 38-year-old ex-Navy man to head the school's football program. Wayne Woodrow Hayes, who simply went by Woody, had only five years' experience coaching college football. His record at Denison and Miami universities was impressive. But was he ready for the Big Ten? Many fans didn't think so. He had not been Ohio State's first choice, and there were applicants for the job who were much better known. His first year coaching the Buckeyes didn't do much to change the minds of his detractors. His second year showed some improvement and included a badly needed win over storied rival Michigan. Then in his fourth year, Woody's Buckeyes went undefeated, beating Michigan, winning the Rose Bowl, and a national championship. The Woody Hayes era had officially begun. For the next quarter century, Woody and his wife Ann were partners in shaping a football program that produced winners both on and off the field. There were more undefeated seasons, wins over Michigan, even more Rose Bowl victories and national championships. But the impact of these two one-of-a-kind individuals was far greater than anything that could be measured in points or recognized with a trophy. Woody taught his players as much about life as he did football. And in Ann, they found a best friend, a helpful tutor, and a loving and caring mom away from mom. Ann and Woody Hayes will forever hold a special place in the heart of The Ohio State University and in the hearts of Buckeyes everywhere. Tonight, on the 100th anniversary of Woody's birth, we gather in this facility that bears his name to remember, to honor, and to celebrate the lives and legacies of these two incredible people who touched the lives of so many members of the Ohio State family. Welcome to this special evening. Welcome to Ann and Woody Hayes, a tribute event. <laughs> 